the the baby of these two the baby that these two fragrances make when they get together is just uh gurgling giggling smiling baby who just wants to play <laughs> so i just recently did a blind buy purchase of kayali's newest eden fragrance i believe the first in the Eden Fragrance line has been uh, Eden Juicy Apple, which I have a full bottle of that. This one is called Eden Sparkling Lychee 39, and I bought it in the travel size, which seems to be uh, my routine when buying Kayali new fragrances, is I just get like the small travel size to see how I feel about it. Also, I just really love the design of the smaller travel size bottles. So it's like a little collection is building. So I really like the copy on Huda Beauty's website for Kayali because her product info includes the vibe, which Sephora doesn't. So the vibe is radiant, cheerful, and confident. The top notes are black currant, sparkling lychee, Italian lemon, and red apple. The middle notes are rose damascena, candied violet, jasmine sandback, and the base notes are sugared amber, cedarwood, musk, vanilla absolute, and sandalwood. And it says prepare to be tempted. Eden Sparkling Lychee 39 is a radiant and cheerful fruity floral fragrance featuring a beautiful blend of luscious lychee. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Is it lychee or lychee? Somebody let me know. Uh, luscious lychee, tart black currant, and sweet candied violet. In the spirit of the Eden Collection, Sparkling Lychee 39 opens with a cocktail of mouth-watering fruity notes that instantly brighten your mood. Love it. At the heart, a bouquet of floaty florals adds a layer of confidence to this cheerful juice. Juice is another word. So I've been watching a lot of the fragrance girlies on YouTube, namely Sharita M and Karina. I don't remember what her last name was, but those two, ugh, amazing fragrance content. Like I'm just learning so much. And plus, which they do like the niche fragrances that I've never heard of that you can't get on Sephora. So I'm like really... I'm really like getting deep into my fragrance era and I'm excited. I really love discovering like new channels that talk about fragrance and those two right now are my favorite. So I think it was one or the two of them, maybe both, who I first heard refer to the fragrance liquid as juices. <laughs> and I love that. I love it. <laughs> I love it. As this sparkling juice dries down, warm notes of sugared amber, delicious vanilla, and sensual must create a long lasting and alluring scent trail. So the other thing that I really love about, um, and maybe this happens all the time, but I've only noticed it with these travel sizes that I've purchased recently from the Oogasm collection and now this one. I like that they all have layering combos listed on the side of each box. So it'll tell you what other Kylie fragrances are good to layer with the one that you just purchased. So for Eden Sparkling Lychee, she recommends layering with Eden Juicy Apple and Eden Sparkling Lychee Yum Pistachio Gelato. Okay, so I didn't know Yum Pistachio Gelato was part of the Eden uh, gang. I did not know that. Um, I I did not care for it. I didn't hate it, but I I didn't care for that one. So, but apparently it layers really well with the Eden Sparkling Lychee fragrance. The Eden Juicy Apple fragrance is a lot. <laughs> and I feel like with this one, the way that it's being described, I don't know how you can get much fruitier than Eden Juicy Apple. That is a fruity, juicy, bursting, what they say, like they say cheerfulness and confidence. Like it's it's all of that. So without further ado, let's, let's smell this. I did go to Sephora to see if it was there, if they had a tester, there was a tester and I just had to walk away. I had to be like, nope, it's on its way. I'm gonna smell it soon. I want it to be the first time on my channel when I smell this fragrance. And I mean, I know that I'm like winding it up and that it's 
just a fragrance, but it's still, a, it's a special moment. Oh, look at this. Oh, come on. This is like a piece of fruit. Just looking at it, obviously, it's modeled after the lychee fruit. I'm sure I'm going to put like a picture of the lychee fruit somewhere in here so we could just see a side by side of the inspiration for this bottle. I just think it's so good. It's kind of funny though also that it's a very light sort of like um, floral scent more associated with spring and summer and it's coming out at the like beginning of the winter. So whatever. I guess Kali is just like who cares? Like this is what I'm in the mood for. Again, not hating it. Wow, I just I just got like a little mist of it. I just got like I just got like the sparkling sort of fizzy soda kind of feeling. It's wow. I don't how okay. Okay. It's sweet. Hmm. It's just, oh my God, it's so cheerful. It's so freaking cheerful. This is a very uplifting, pick me up kind of fragrance. And it just makes me want to sniff it more and more. Just, it's really, it's really nicely done. I'm, I'm very pleased right now. Like I'm, it's, oh my gosh, wow. It reminds me of good things. It's really sort of like, I don't know, it's it's very much connected to good things, good feelings. It's a little bit shampoo-y. I did read someone describe it that way on the Sephora website. So there is like a like a shampoo accord, even though there's nothing like that in the note description. But it's a shampoo I really like. <laughs> Like, I really, really, really like this. Okay, the candied violet. That's gotta be what I'm smelling because there is definitely something in here that is candied. And it's not like syrupy, I don't know how she does this. It's not syrupy, cloying, sickening sweet, but it is sweet. Like, it's sweet. But it's like layered, it's like layers of sweetness. Like I smell the amber, so there's like a warmth to it. It's not all just, you know, one note. It's very nice. I kind of want to spray more. Ooh. I really, I'm like, you know what? I'm done. I'm finished. I'm going to, I'm done now. <laughs> I'll see you later. <laughs> I mean, I didn't expect, I was just like, you know, I'm blind buying this again from Kayali again. So I have to expect that there's going to be one that I don't like, God forbid, hate. And you know, I'm I'm open to it because I'm I'm taking a chance and making a blind buy purchase, but I love this. <laughs> I love this. So so far in this size, I have the um the Oudgasm vanilla and the wedding silk santal, which I'm I keep hearing is still sold out, which I think is insane, but all of those blind buys all the all three of these are blind buys okay so i just want to look at the notes really quickly again so i can tell you what i am smelling so there's black currant i think that there's black currant in juicy eaten apple too i'm not sure so the black currant the sparkling lychee the italian lemon i was excited for that and the red apple oh yeah oh yeah and then Rose Damascena, I don't really get a lot of, but I can see how it could be kind of hidden in there and not really the star because there's so much else going on here that kind of like takes center stage more than the Rose Damascena. The Candied Violet, oh God, that's so good. I definitely smell the Candied Violet, uh, the Jasmine, Sambac. I definitely smell the notes of jasmine in this like sweetness, but I think it kind of like mixes in with the amber a little bit. And then the base notes, sugared amber, cedarwood, musk, vanilla absolute, 
and sandalwood. I don't get as much sandalwood, cedarwood, musk, really, because to me, the last part of it is just, like I said, like that shampoo kind of smell at the, at the base. Oh my God, it's so good. Well, It's, it's another hit for me. It's another hit for me. Okay, so I went and got my bottle of the Kiali Eden Juicy Apple. I'm going to spray this on a tester strip and then I'm going to layer it because I just want to see what the differences are for me when I smell this as opposed to the, the sparkling lychee. Hmm. I think for me, this one, it gives more apple. It gives a lot more apple. Oh my God. It, it's so good. It's so good. So I'm just going to do Kayali Juicy Eden Apple first. I mean, I'll just do one more spritz. It's a, that's a pretty generous spritz. And then some Eden Sparkling Lychee. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I, I, there is nothing faint about this combination. This might be just the thing that I need to wake me up in the morning. This is a wake, this is a wake your butt up fragrance. It is skipping through the fields. It is literal joy. It is it is just wow. Kayala's Juicy Eden was listed as one of the layering scents for the Oogasm Vanilla and I was not feeling that combo at all. But these two together, I mean, clearly they complement each other. They were meant to complement each other and they do so amazingly. Like layered together, they create an entire new, but obviously familiar fragrance. The both of them together, it just, the, the baby of these two, the baby that these two fragrances make when they get together is just uh, gurgling, giggling, smiling baby who just wants to play. <laughs> I love this. I really, really love it. It is fruity. It is juicy. I love the bottle design. I love this color. I love this size. Um, I would definitely recommend it if you're into fruity florals and especially if you liked Kayali's Eden Juicy Apple. If you like this, you're going to love this. If you love this, your head's going to explode when you smell this. That's my two cents. That's my story and I'm sticking to it. I love doing first impression fragrance reviews. Like, it's the most fun. I really, really, really enjoy it. I hope that you have enjoyed it as well. Uh, apparently, I'm in a fragrance era right now. So if you're interested in fragrances and you want to hear more from me about new fragrances that I'm discovering, please feel free to subscribe to my channel. If you're already subscribed, thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. Don't forget to click on the thumbs up button if you like this video. I hope you liked it. I had so much fun doing it and I will see you in my next video soon. Bye.